hanging around. I guess just the emotion of the, of the day. Oh, it's, it's such a big honor. I actually, I told, uh, as I told uh, Calgary staff, I didn't even hear the team. I was still looking down on my phone, and I then I looked up and heard my name. So it was an unbelievable Peter, feeling, uh, and uh, just very happy right now. And you talk to the players quite a bit. Uh, no, I uh, didn't talk to too many teams really much. Just my interviews at the combine, and then a couple, uh, a few throughout the year, and stuff like that. But uh, just, just an honor. And I, I really had no idea where I was going to go. So. Your dad's a goaltender, right? He was, yes. Yeah. So is that, I mean, it seems natural, but is that is that where that came from, or did you, were you inspired by something else, too? Uh, well, uh, we have a lot of pictures of my dad um, in our house and stuff like that, and my uncle was a goalie, so was my grandfather, so it kind of runs in our family. He actually made me play forward for my first year of hockey just to make sure I really wanted to play goalie, but from then on, from my second year of mites on, it was what I wanted to do. Did you ever see him? Did you see him play? Does he still, you know, as you were growing up, was, was he still playing? He, uh, he doesn't talk much about his playing career for some reason. I hear what I hear, what I know about him is what I hear through the grapevine. And um, I know in men's league he plays defense now because he doesn't want to play goalie anymore. He's had he played football too, so he had a few knee surgeries. But like I said, I don't know too much about his career. How does it feel to see all the New England guys that you're here in the draft and you know so well coming off the board all in the second, third round? Oh, it, it's unbelievable. Uh, sitting with Ryan Blair, my best friend, hopefully he goes soon. Brian Hart grew up playing against Sam Griffin, grew up playing with him. It's just a... Just Grizzlick a, just came off for Boston. Did he really? Yeah. Oh, great. For his hometown. That's just it's unbelievable. The New England's a little map like this. I'm really happy for him. But you're a main guy and you loved uh, Patrick Law and Gary yeah. Price. What's up with that? I don't know. I just... <laughs> I don't know. It's like... So how old were you when you made the switch from forward to goaltender? Oh, just second year of mites. I was four or five, I think. It was just one year to learn, A, learn how to skate, and B, um, just make sure that it was what I wanted to do. So you never wore your dad's, you didn't get hand-me-down gear from your dad or anything like no, that? No, his gear wouldn't have been sufficient for the day to <laughs> say. Did he want to wear the deer hide uh, or the deer skin, deer hair pad? I'm sure he would have wanted me to to toughen me up a little bit, but I think he just decided to let me go the other way. Right. He, I, is he here with you? Yeah, yeah. They're, they're so up in the stands, I think. What's that moment like when you hear your name? You know, you get to share that moment with your, with your family. Oh, it, it's unbelievable. It's so nice. They put so much time, so much effort, so much money into growing up in hockey and just to have, this is only the first step on a long journey, but just to have that work recognized is just unbelievable for them. And uh, I'm actually surprised my dad was in the seat. He likes to pace a lot during games and stuff, so that was nice too.